Are Sigma males misunderstood or simply a new breed of men society is struggling to comprehend? This isn't a question to be taken lightly for it speaks to the very essence of how we view masculinity and individuality in our contemporary society. Sigma males, a term that's been circling around social media and online discussions for a while now. It's a term that sparked curiosity, debate, and yes, even controversy. But who exactly are Sigma males? Well, they are often described as the lone wolves of the social hierarchy, introverted, self-reliant, and non-conformist. Contrary to popular belief, Sigma males are not just introverted alphas or glorified betas. Their character traits are complex and unique. They don't seek validation from others, preferring their own company or the company of a select few. They are self-sufficient, comfortable in their own skin, and they march to the beat of their own drum, so to speak. However, these traits that make Sigma males stand out can also lead to misconceptions. Society, being accustomed to a more extrovert-centric model, often finds it hard to understand Sigma males. They're seen as aloof, mysterious, perhaps even antisocial. But is this really the case? Or is it simply a misunderstanding stemming from a lack of knowledge about this personality type? Sigma males, like any other archetype, are a product of their circumstances and choices. They choose to live life on their own terms, and this can be a challenge for traditional societal norms. But it also brings to the fore the question of individuality and the freedom to choose one's own path. In a world that's increasingly becoming more accepting of different personality types and ways of life, it's important for us to understand and appreciate the Sigma males among us. They might not fit the conventional mold, but that's what makes them unique, that's what makes them Sigma. Before we delve deeper, let's first understand the different male archetypes that exist. This will help us better comprehend the enigma of Sigma males and perhaps dispel some of the misconceptions about them. Alpha, Beta, and Sigma. Three letters denoting three distinct male personalities. Let's begin with the Alpha. This archetype is often portrayed as the quintessential leader, the one who is confident, assertive, and unafraid to take charge. Alphas are typically outgoing, socially dominant, and tend to be the center of attention. They thrive in social situations and are often seen as the top dogs in any group setting. On the other hand, we have the beta males. They are commonly viewed as the second in command. Betas are generally cooperative, more reserved, and are often the mediators in conflicts. They prefer harmony and are more likely to avoid confrontation. While they may not be the most dominant, their diplomatic skills make them an essential part of any social group. Now let's introduce the Sigma males. They're the wild cards of male personality types. Sigmas are introverted, self-reliant, and march to the beat of their own drum. Unlike alphas and betas, they don't seek validation from others and are comfortable being on their own. They value their independence and often prefer solitude over social engagements. They're the lone wolves, the ones who operate outside the traditional social hierarchies. So, how do these archetypes interact with society? Alphas are often at the forefront, leading the pack. Betas, while not typically leaders, play a crucial role in maintaining social balance. In contrast, Sigma males don't fit neatly into this social hierarchy. They're the wanderers, the ones who choose a path less traveled. In comparing these three, it's clear that while alphas and betas operate within social norms, Sigma males choose to live outside these conventions. They have their own unique set of strengths and weaknesses just like any other archetype. Yet their unconventional approach often leads to misunderstandings and can make them targets of societal prejudice. As we see, Sigma males vary greatly from their alpha and beta counterparts, which could be the root cause of societal misunderstanding. Introverted, independent, and self-sufficient, the Sigma male is a leader in his own right. Let's delve into the unique traits of Sigma males that classify them as introverted leaders. Unlike their alpha counterparts who lead with dominance and their beta counterparts who lead with submission, Sigmas lead with self-reliance. At the core of their being, Sigma males are introverts. They thrive in solitude, finding comfort in their own company. This does not mean they're antisocial or shy. Instead, they prefer their own thoughts and ideas over the clamor of the crowd. This sense of introspection allows them to have a keen sense of self-awareness, which in turn, allows them to understand and navigate the world in their own unique way. This brings us to another notable trait of Sigma males, their independence. They don't rely on social structures or hierarchies to define their worth. They are self-governing, choosing their own path rather than following the herd. This renegade mindset, combined with their introverted nature, can often lead them to become lone wolves, 
carving their own path in the wilderness of life. Another defining characteristic of Sigma males is their self-sufficiency. They don't seek validation or support from others. They are comfortable standing alone, not needing the approval of the crowd to feel fulfilled. This self-sufficiency is not born out of arrogance or pride, but rather from a deep-seated belief in their own abilities and potential. However, this preference for solitude, this independence and self-sufficiency, can often be misinterpreted. In a society that values extroversion and conformity, these traits can be seen as aloof or standoffish. But it's important to remember that Sigma males are not cold or uncaring. They simply operate on a different wavelength, marching to the beat of their own drum. These traits, while admirable, can often be misunderstood, leading to a certain level of societal disdain. Yet it is this very disdain that fuels the Sigma male's drive to remain true to himself and his unique way of leading. But why is there so much misunderstanding and even hate towards Sigma males? This question brings us to the heart of our discussion today. Society often thrives on stereotypes and labels. They provide a sense of order, a way to categorize and understand the world around us. However, these stereotypes can also limit our understanding, particularly when it comes to Sigma males. The Sigma male being an introverted leader who doesn't fit into the traditional alpha-beta hierarchy is often misunderstood. One of the biggest misconceptions about Sigma males is that they are antisocial or aloof. This stems from their preference for solitude and their tendency to avoid unnecessary social interactions. But being selective in their social engagements doesn't equate to disliking social interaction. Sigma males value meaningful conversations and deep connections, often choosing quality over quantity in their relationships. Another misconception is that Sigma males are unambitious. Unlike alphas who are typically driven by a desire for power and status, Sigma males are motivated by their own goals and passions. They may not seek leadership positions or crave recognition, but that doesn't mean they lack ambition. They simply have a different way of pursuing success. But why do these misconceptions exist? Often, it's due to a lack of understanding and a fear of the unknown. People tend to fear what they don't understand and the Sigma male with his unconventional approach to life can seem like an enigma. This fear can lead to misunderstanding and even hostility. It's also worth noting that the concept of Sigma males challenges societal norms. It questions the traditional hierarchy and presents an alternative way of being successful and content. This can be uncomfortable for some, leading to resistance and misconceptions. In conclusion, the misunderstanding of Sigma males is not a reflection of their character, but rather a reflection of society's discomfort with what it doesn't fully understand. It's evident that the misunderstanding of Sigma males stems from a lack of understanding their unique characteristics. And as we continue to learn and grow, it's important to challenge our preconceived notions and strive for a more inclusive understanding of all personality types. The question is, how can society better understand and accept Sigma males? To answer this, we must first acknowledge that understanding any personality type, including that of Sigma males, calls for open-mindedness and curiosity. We must be willing to look beyond stereotypes, beyond the labels of Alpha, Beta, or Sigma, and see the individual for who they really are. To do so, we need to foster a culture of acceptance and understanding that values diversity and uniqueness. Stereotypes can be limiting and damaging, they box people in and fail to account for the complexity of human personality. They can create misconceptions and misunderstandings, as we've seen with Sigma males. By breaking these stereotypes, we can begin to appreciate the unique strengths and capabilities of Sigma males. Sigma males are often misunderstood as aloof or antisocial, but remember, their quiet nature isn't indicative of disinterest or disdain. Rather, they are introspective individuals who enjoy solitude and value deep, meaningful interactions over superficial socializing. Accepting this can help us better understand and appreciate their unique perspective. Moreover, it's important for Sigma males themselves to be more open and expressive about their personality traits. This doesn't mean changing who they are, but rather, communicating their needs, preferences, and boundaries more effectively. It can be as simple as explaining their need for alone time, or their preference for deep conversations over small talk. In a society that often values extroversion and social dominance, Sigma males can feel out of place. But it's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to personality. We need all types to make the world go round, the leaders, the followers, the thinkers, the dreamers, 
and yes, the Sigma males. Let's strive to create a society where everyone, including Sigma males, can feel understood, accepted, and valued for who they are. Acceptance begins with understanding, and understanding begins with conversation, so let's start the conversation about Sigma males.